video is my empties for the month of June. I know I'm a little late, but not too late. It's still only the second week of July. So um, these are just the products that I've used up um, or that I'm just getting rid of. So let's start with the empties. My first one is my Bioderma, and I have a review on this um, explaining what it is and how it works and how much I love it. Um, I have repurchased it and have a brand new big bottle and yeah so I love this stuff but you should check it out if you're looking for like a um, cleansing oil not oil but cleansing water the next thing I have is from it's a sample from the Garnier and it's the ultra lift target line smoother tightener and cream and it was in a magazine and it has like two little pouches on either side and you ripped it off and you got this you got the product out um the problem i had with this was that one side would come out and one wouldn't so it's kind of hard to make it an even pump so that you were getting the cream and the tightener together but um it had about two uses in it and i didn't see an immediate uh, difference but it is something that I think I would like to try out in a full size. I have a couple sample things. One is the Magic BB, um, Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream, and this is from L'Oreal. I had this sample from my Target box, and I didn't really like it. I didn't, I didn't. It was a little too light for me, um, but I just didn't see it being any different than any of the other. BB creams that it really aren't BB creams so um, yeah I wasn't it's not something I don't think I would actually go buy a full sample side or full the next two items are also face items and they're samples that I received in birch boxes and the first is the Dr. Jart plus water fuse BB beauty balm and I literally see how big this is okay so it's a pretty good size you would think that you would have like you know three four uses out of it I had one my thing was basically empty it kind of made me mad because it's supposed to be have an SPF of 25 which for me is a really big thing um, because I have such pale skin that I don't like to I burn and I don't want to get sunspots and things like that so I was really interested in trying this but one use and it really wasn't even that much to cover my whole face so I was kind of disappointed with that the next one is from Amazing Cosmetics, and it is their Velvet um, Mineral Liquid Custom Finish Foundation SPF. I think it's 15, yeah. And this is supposed to be like a really high coverage foundation, and it definitely was. It was very thick. I got three or four uses out of this little packet. It was nice and full. Um, and I did like it, except for that the color was a little too dark for me, which it was medium beige, so I think I would have gone for light golden maybe, or even fair, because um, it was just a shade or two dark for me. But I did like it. It was very, for full coverage, um, it did cover everything, and I don't know if I would actually buy it personally because I don't care for that full coverage feeling. Um, because it does have that heavy feeling and I don't like feeling makeup but if you're looking for something that's full coverage I would definitely check this out the next item is a little Clinique dramatically different moisturizing gel and I like I needed a moisturizer and I was going through my travel stuff and found this and decided hey I'll just use this up so it is very lightweight I love it I've used it in the past before it's just a little on the pricey side I think it's twenty dollars for a full size but it is good and I do think it is a great product next thing is a mascara and it is the Rimmel Scandalize Lycra Flex and I am not a fan of this I have not, I've tried a couple Rimmel um, mascaras now and I just do not like them. Look at that one, look how clumpy, I don't know if you can tell, but look how clumpy that is. I literally would have to wipe that off before I even put it on my eyes. So already I'm wasting a whole bunch of product and then it would just clump on my eyes and make my give me that spidery effect on my eyelashes and I just didn't like it so 
the next item I haven't actually finished I finished the bottle but I put um, my Mac brush cleanser into um, one of these little spray bottles so that it's easier to use so I technically have not used it but the bottle's gone so this will be my, one of my back to Mac things and I like their brush cleanser I think it works really well for spot cleaning I, when I deep condition I do um, use like a sulfate free shampoo I have a video on how I deep cleanse my brushes I will put it here somewhere and um, I have a hair on my face ah. but I'm looking for something that's a little cheaper um, because it is I think 18 or 20 dollars for this bottle and it does last me a long time because I only use it for spot um, spot cleaning so I mean I think this lasted me a year which is pretty good for 20 bucks like yeah but if you guys have any suggestions for like drugstore brands, I would love to try something out. Just let me know in the comments below. And the last thing is actually pretty full still. It's probably right to here. And it is the Redken Heat Styling Thermo Active Hot Sets 22. And it's supposed to help your curls set. You're supposed to spray it in your hair then take a hair dryer to dry it and then put it in your hot rollers or your curling iron. But it gave me those, even if I lightly misted it, it would give me those crunchy curls. Like it would do the ringlet, but it'd be super crunchy. So I've tried it all different ways and I just can, cannot get it to work for my hair. So I'm going to be throwing this guy away. So those are all my June empties and I hope you enjoyed them and I will see you guys in the next video.